like the A440 is pretty, pretty crisp. You stop using your brain and you're just gonna use the slider. Inside the National Music Center, a recording session like no other is underway. Yeah, let's try doing a bass line because my brain might be a little different than yours. A musician with a background in science using her curious mind to make music, instrument and artist linked together with a brainwave headset. Oh, oh no, that worked. Okay, so there's a little bit of a lag. The other star of this show, Tonto, a half-century-old analog synthesizer made famous by Stevie Wonder. Now part of the NMC's permanent collection. It was never obsolete. It just became more kind of usable as technology has changed. And I think Angie has proven that you know, it's, it's more uh, relevant than ever. A rebirth of sorts, one that has the instrument's creator looking on from his studio in New York. Uh, things come back around again. Um, the old technology uh, is very often the, the technology that will work. A merging of mind and musical instrument that could one day release the tunes trapped in everyone's brain. Wouldn't it be cool if we could just think that music that's in our head into existence? So what was a crazy idea actually seems to be starting to come a little more forward to fruition. This recording, another step towards that, showcasing one mind and the music inside it. A dream come true, IRL. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.